Hey, I'm John Cannell, and today on Preppy Kitchen, we're making palmier, delicious, crunchy little cookies. First off, grab a package of puff pastry and leave it out on the counter for a few hours so it thaws out. It has to be cold, but not frozen. If you wanna make your own, click up here for my puff pastry recipe. It's really fun to make. This has been thawing. I'm just gonna open the package up a little bit. Oof. And you can see it's, it's liftable. I can move it around, it's not gonna break. Now for our second ingredient. It's a two ingredient recipe, it's kinda wild. I have a quarter cup of sugar here and I'm gonna sprinkle it right onto my counter in like a nine inch square-ish. No rocks. Okay, these are also called elephant ears by the way and they are a fancy looking cookie that is so easy to make. Carefully unwrap this package and lay it out onto your sugared surface. Now we're gonna add more sugar. <laughs> and these cookies are like amazing with coffee and tea. You can let me know in the comments if you consider them pastries. We're gonna roll this out into a 12 inch square. Doesn't have to be perfect. I do have a measuring tape though. You wanna get all of this sugar right here on the surface of your palmier because when they bake, the sugar caramelizes, turns into a liquid, and it's just like the most amazing thing ever. Now for the fun part, we're gonna roll this up and you can do different patterns. I like a straight roll on each side, but some people like to do a fold and you can kind of get a heart shape out of that. Just make it nice and tight. And we're gonna roll up to the center. Okay, other side. <laughs> Today I'm just using sugar, but you could use basically anything you want as an add-in. So spices are nice. So right now I have a double scroll. It's a little bit unwieldy. So one thing you're gonna wanna do is freeze this for 30 minutes. And here's my trick for getting a nice, beautiful edge. So this is my French bread pan. It's made so you can proof the, ba the bread and get like a nice baguette shape. But if you don't have one at home, just take a paper towel core cut it down the middle, and then we're gonna place our cookie to be here. Pop it into the roll like that. Now it'll have a nice rounder bottom. Freeze this for 30 minutes and we'll be right back. While that's freezing, let's try a different fold too. So one more quarter a cup of sugar. It's nice to make these in groups of two because you can freeze this for later and cut it kind of on demand and this stuff comes in packages of two. My goal, and you'll see if I fail or not, is to make this a heart. I'm gonna fold this in thirds. So like this, and like that. And I'm folding it kind of like a letter. One final fold, right there. And we're gonna bring this together. Just like this, kind of like a book. But now I'm gonna take this corner this is going into the freezer too, but we're gonna freeze it flat. And one last thing that's very important, don't freeze it for more than half an hour because they'll be rock hard and uncuttable, they'll shatter. So just half an hour is enough to firm it up. Be right back. While our dough's freezing, we're gonna preheat the oven to 425, nice and hot. After 30 minutes of chill time, these cookies are ready to cut. So they're not fully frozen, they're just firmed up again. Turn them upside down and we're gonna cut these into quarter inch pieces. I hear some children chirping in the background. <laughs> they know these cookies are on their way. One thing I learned the hard way is you do not, normally it doesn't matter, but for these cookies, you wanna use parchment paper, not a silpat. I don't know what's going on, but the sugar would really not caramelize well. Okay, as soon as these are cut, you can kind of just place them right onto your baking sheet. And as needed, you can just rearrange them a bit and give them a nicer shape. So they will puff up a little bit after baking. That's puff pastry for you. Give them some space, at least two inches apart. And then some delicious magic is gonna happen. And no, you don't have to bake all these at the same time. You could freeze this for later and just let it thaw a bit before cutting it. These guys are ready to go into the oven for eight minutes at 425, but then we're gonna flip them. So eight minutes and then pull them right out really quickly. 
I'm also gonna cut these heart-shaped palmiers. Let's see if it turns out. Give them a cut, bake them up just the same. Out of the oven, cool enough to eat. And in case you're wondering, this is my attempt at a heart-shaped version. It looks better than before. I've got some practicing to do though. For now, it's the traditional palmier shape. That is pure crunch, butter, sugar, mixed with air. It's amazing, and I'll see you in the next video. If you like this video, check out my cookie playlist.